Hi, Larry, WD0AKX. I just wanted to do a little quick demo here of an AM broadcast band external loop antenna that's tunable. You can just set next to your AM portable radio if you want to help uh, pick up those distant stations. This will help you out in most cases. Very simple circuit, it's just a tuned loop, just uh, two components. A loop of wire of uh, the right amount of turns and a variable capacitor here that will tune the AM broadcast band. Now, a few years ago I made this home brew version here, and they work about the same. But for the price, uh, a little over 20 bucks on Amazon, I found this for it's a Texan. I wanted to have a second one around here, it uh, just looks a lot nicer. I have some uses for this, so I just wanted to give you a little quick demo. There's a lot of other videos on the internet about these, so I'll make it kind of brief. I just want to show you that they do work. Let's take a look. And like I say, you can make your own also and they do work just as well. Uh, this I built using the ugly construction method. Now if you want to build your own, there's plenty of plans on the internet. All you have to do is uh, search out uh, uh, build uh, AM radio loop antenna or something to that effect, uh, loop antenna calculators, and it will give you the calculations to determine the number of turns on the wire and what type of capacitor to use. And if you don't want to build your own, that's where something like this would come in handy, I guess. Uh, you can find these all over the internet. Uh, many places sell them. Be careful on the prices, though. Some places uh, charge a lot more than others, so you do want to look around and see what you can find. Generally, if they look like this, they're probably made by the same manufacturer, I'm guessing. Now, this unit is a Texan. I've also seen uh, Cato is another name I've seen. Uh, they look identical, and I think they're made by the same manufacturer. In fact, one of my little booklets uh, does say Cato in it here, too. This is uh, able to be plugged in to an external wire to connect to uh, your AM radio if you have terminals to connect an external AM antenna. Here you see a little Cato booklet, and uh, I think uh, they're probably the same unit. It's a closer look at the external cable you can plug in if you want to wire your radio directly but you don't have to the unit will just couple to your AM radio internal loop antenna by placing it close by to the radio now, these are not active antennas there's no batteries or power required just a passive antenna and you can tune the circuit by tuning this dial here so we'll start out with this little portable transistor radio I got when I was seven years old Here's another very inexpensive transistor radio. You can see how the loop really helps this out. And here's a vintage Zenith tube type radio. USA That's 1-800-USA-M-A-T-H. Or visit... Mm -hmm. Call 1-800-872-6284. Or visit MaxMakeEasy.com. And enter code R6 for a special... Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. So you can see they do... Uh help the reception out most of the time. Uh, I like to use them a lot. Uh, some stations that I listen to are not real close by and they can be kind of noisy and with these you can kind of null out the noise and peak the signal so they come in handy at times. They're kind of fun to play around with too uh, doing AM radio DXing that type of thing. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.